Previously, on Resident Evil HD Remastered. Oh, I see the head dogs know where this is going. No time to talk. Jill, hand me my gun! <sighs> and now we continue. Hey, Stars members, hey, welcome back to more Resident Evil HD Remastered Remake and all that glorious jazz. In the last part, we defeated Lisa, and I talked to you guys about the last episode of The Walking Dead. Now, I didn't spoil anything of it. I just talked about um, the episode in general without any spoilers. And now I'm gonna talk to you guys. I wanna discuss with you guys. Oh shit, zombie! Oh shit, rock! Okay, no, let me back. I heard a zombie. I thought I pulled him a shotgun. I'm like, no! I'm not waiting shotgun on you! Ugh. What the shit? Wow, this thing taking a lot of damage. Fuck. Okay, so basically, Daryl. A lot of people are saying that Daryl is one of the characters on the show that can't die. I think because. Oh! Fucking headshot, dude! Ooh, ooh! Ooh, the mother- another ammo disc. I think Daryl is like the only character, I think, on the show that isn't in the comics. And a lot of people are saying that's one of the big reasons why Daryl can't die. Because it brings diversity from the show to the comics. And I sort of slightly agree with them, because Daryl is- I mean, I read, uh, I read a good amount of Walking Dead comics, and... Daryl's not in any of them. Daryl's brother is, but not Daryl himself. And then, ugh. Not Daryl himself. Daryl is not in any of it. And the likely end, if Daryl dies in the comics, oh shit! I heard, uh, yeah, Daryl dies in the Daryl dies on the show. Ow! What the? Fuck off me! He headshot you, bitch. Okay, come on, come on. Boom. There we go, and yeah, Daryl's brother is in the show. I mean, yeah, is in the comics, but Daryl himself is not in the show, and that one makes it more diverse. And I think Daryl has too much of a fan base for him to die. I think because he's a very, very popular character on the show, and you like he's like my favorite. He's like so badass, and. He's, and and if he would have died, like if he dies, like if Negan kills Daryl, like if Negan, if Daryl was the one that Negan killed, ooh, ooh, Magnum, ooh, hold up, let me see it around first, the V act searcher notes, okay, pause if you want to read it, guys. Okay, that's, that basically just telling us all about the Crimson Heads. Okay, that's nothing new. That is nothing new. Uh, Vardiv... Oh, wait, wait, what, what was that, though? Woohoo! Battery! Alright, so basically, if Daryl was the one that Negan killed, that would have shocked everybody. Because if you read the comics, you kind of already know what happened with Negan and all that shit. You kind of already know. Ooh, computer! Um, I'll be back for that shit. Um, log in. Um, let's try Umbrella? <laughs> oh, okay, how about this? How about we log in as Wesker? Okay, let's log in as Wesker. Enter. And Evil. I am a douchebag. <laughs> uh, what's the arrow? Oh, you douche. I don't know how to spell douche, fuck! I think it's an H. Does that work? Damn it. Damn it! Well, I, at least I tried. At least I tried. At least I tried. So, yeah, if Daryl was the one that he can kill, that would have shocked everybody. Because a lot of people think that Daryl can die. If Daryl... If Daryl did die, that will put the entire show on a complete left drift race turn. That one made a huge drift race turn. That one made a huge impact. And what basically showed the viewers that no matter how the pop how popular the character is, they will still die. 
they will still have a big probability of dying. And that is like, wow. Because if you read the comics, you kind of sort of already know what happened with Negan. Like, you kind of already know what happened. What's this? Lever release the door is locked. Now I can just release... Oh, okay. So I need to do something with that shit. But if you read the comics, you sort of already know what happened with Negan. If, if you do, please don't spoil it. Please, like, you know, there are people there are people that I know. There are people here that maybe that didn't, you know, that didn't watch it or didn't read the comics. Please, no spoilers. But... A lot, but if you read the comics, you probably already know what happened with Negan. And and if Daryl was to one to die, that would be a huge. That would be a complete, complete different thing that happened in the comic, and that would made the show and the comics a lot different. The moment the message board catches the attention, there's something scrawled on the notepad. Electronic door placed initials on alphabetical order. Um. Okay, that would made it completely different from the comics, and that would have made the show a lot more unpredictable. Um, okay, lung, esophagus, liver, stomach, large intestine, small intestine, colon. Okay, okay, and that would made it completely different. Research letter. Okay, pause the phone and read it, guys. Oh shit! John and Ada! That's a great reference to Okay, John and Ada are two characters in Resident Evil 2. Ada, the smoking hot spy chick in the freaking red sexy dress. And I think John has his face cap caved in by freaking. <laughs> by freaking William. But. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, wait a minute! Okay, that's the colon. That's the esophagus. That's the lung. And that's. Oh, oh, that's also the lock. Okay. The initials. Cell! It spells cell. The initials. Smell. S-E-L-O. Okay, so the password is John and Ada. Because it said the, the, his name and Ada's name as the password. But, okay, so cell is definitely a password for something. Password for something. But if Daryl was to die, that would have made the show take a humongous left turn. That would have been completely unexpected. And that would have made it a lot more different from the comic, and that would make the show unpredictable and great. Cause imagine that though, like, making it so unpredictable, because Abraham was supposed to die a lot before, the girl that got the arrow through the head, right? In the comics, that was supposed to be Abraham, but it wasn't. So, making it like, making some of the deaths different, will definitely put the show on edge, and will definitely make you want to be like, okay, I definitely want to like, watch more of this and find out like, who died, who doesn't die, because that means you, won't, you, won't, you don't have to rely on the comics for answers, because a lot of people say that, you know, if you read the comics, like, if you read the comics, you get a general feel of what's gonna happen. Ooh. Um. Okay, oh! It's Cell, right? Akasang, Akasang? Crush again, yes! Unlocked. Oh. Okay. So, let's unlock B3. Unlocked! That was a cool computer. Okay, so. That's also unlocked. Okay, uh, okay, that's cool. Quit? Yes, I want to quit. I actually want to get a computer like that. So, like, I want to get like an old retro computer that did that does such shit like that. Okay, so that's what I really love to see. Like, you know, Dell's my favorite character. If he dies, that would make the show a lot more interesting. Cause imagine that though. Like, anybody could die. Like, you don't have to rely on the comic. Like, cause like, if you just watch read the comic, be like, oh yeah, this person dies. Okay, so he's gonna die somewhere along the line this season. He's gonna die somewhere along the lines over here. But that that would just make the show a lot more great. Oh, uh oh, yes, unlocking doors is my specialty. And that's what I really love to see, and that's why I really. What the fuck was that? I heard that. 
I heard that. I hear that. Will you take the slide filter? You know, I will. I will. Ooh, but the acid round in the... Mm. Is there an item box around I can use? <gasps> okay. Shit. No! <laughs> Shit. I meant to go for that shot. Oh, you're still dead anyway, so... It's curious if the passcode trims the device. You have a MO disc you can commit to... Oh! I do. I do, actually. Whoa! There's one! Transmitting the passcode seems to have unlocked something. Okay, so I need to find... I need to find three of these. I mean, yeah, I need to find three of these. Facts. Pause for I read it, guys! Balls, cutting and pop some kind of herbal medicine. You mean the green herbs? Ooh, there seems to be something behind the sturdy door. Open it? Yeah, why not? Warning, fuel may explode, shaken or jarred. What? It looks like a fueling device. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not trying to do no fucking explosive today. No. I'm not fucking dealing with no fucking explosive. There's not gonna be no Castlevania shit. I'll come back for this shit later. Best believe that. But leave it, let me know in the comment section what do you think would make The Walking Dead so much better? Because I'll, if you read the comments, you can sort of like guess what's gonna happen, and I kind of don't like that. It's like, what's the what's like? Like I want like I want go into every episode not knowing what the bitch, bitch, no. No! Just no! Bad zombie. Bad zombie. I saw I saw the red, I'm like, ah oh, shit. Crimson. Well, there better not be one here. There better not be a fucking crimson head here. Oh I know, there better be a fucking I'm low on shotgun shells, but I'm not happy. Okay, there's none here. Alright, this is B2. This is B2. But you know what? Let, let me go back and put the uh Magnum right yeah, let's put the magnum on his back, because I'm I don't need that shit now. I don't need that shit. Let me go back. Let me go back and put the rounds. But leave me a comment section. For those of you who are a huge fans of The Walking Dead, what do you think is gonna make The Walking Dead a lot better? Like, who would you want who like who do you want to see die in this season? Who do you not want to see die? And I just I really wanna know your thoughts, because I would love to like have a big conversation with you guys. I mean I'll definitely do a uh, Dan React video when the season's completely done. We'll definitely do a Dan React video for it. And I'll be discussing more about that episode, more about uh, who they get killed next week, because I don't want to spoil it for, those guys, for you guys if you haven't watched it. I'll be I'll be talking to you guys about it next week. So then, you know, uh, bring you all up to speed so you, so you already know who they get killed next week. You already know what happened. Uh, you pro most people already know, because I hate the fact that so yes, another MO disc. I got okay. I need to find the disc transmitter shit. I need to find two of those. And basically, what I hate is that some of my friends spoiled it. Like some of my friends went on like Facebook and all that shit, and they spoiled it. And I didn't like that. I was like, dude, dude, come on. Like I know Negan killed. Blah, 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 blah. Come on. Don't. Oh, B O W official report. A Sebris, the zombie dog. Neptune? You mean the big fucking jaw shit? The Hunter? I don't like the Hunter. I, don't, I hate him. Tyre. Oh! T102 Tyre approaching. Bio Organ Weapons Research. Wesker! Hey, is that William? Is that William Burke like in the far left? Wait, 842. Wait, 8462. What the fuck? 8462. Is this a room back here? It looks like it's a room. It looks like it's a room. Oh, scary. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, pause before I read it.
Oh shit. Okay, it basically, it basically gave us a loadout of the place. So, what do I. Okay, I have the passcode or something. 64. Wait, 8462. Passcode. Oh, no. Oh, yes. It's 8642? Right? No, it's. Fuck! 6. Wait, 8624? What? 8624, right? Ever what? 8462? I know it's those numbers. It's. 8462, right? There we go. I'm like, it's, it's got. I know it's that number. I know it's those numbers. There we go. There we go. Found it. Fucking found it. Um. Laboratory key. Ooh. Some sort of image editing equipment. It looks like you can use it for can't film. Do you film? Yeah, might as well. <laughs> Oh, I fucked up. Uh, can I, oh, no, I already saw Cat's film. I want, I want to go to this one. No, no, I already saw Cat's film. I want the... What? Isn't this the thing for the ammo disc? No, isn't, isn't that the... No? No? Let me, let me try it one more time. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me get to the angle. Let me get to the angle. No, no. Okay, so... I guess, okay. So we have the laboratory key, but... Oh, wait a minute. There's a fucking room back there that we... Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. Oof. All right, then. We have a lead. Holy fuck it. Stop the music. Freaking stop the music. Stop. I can... Yeah, okay. So it's down here. It's down here. Okay. So when we come back, we'll be exploring down here and putting the laboratory key into the laboratory because... Well, we need to find out what the fuck is... We need to find out who's really behind all this shit. Right, so we need to ask. And kick the fuck out of the tyrant. So, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be seeing you on the next Walking Dead Zombie Fell Naked Killing Part. Besides for one, I'm having a marvelous, spectacular, zombie-free day. Oh, I see you.